No bragging rights here. It was an easy call that Purdue would take Utah State, picking up their 31st win of the season. Again, if you're new here in Gematria, practice card numbers into words, Purdue equals 31 when you apply numerology. If you don't apply numerology, Purdue equals 85, like it's the 85th tournament. And also interesting, Purdue University with numerology applied is 85 as well. And again, 85th tournament. I just had a big revelation thinking about Purdue. They are the college associated with NASA. NASA has that Gematria 35. And if Purdue got their 31st win today, what win number could they potentially get if they won it all? Of course, they could get 35. And the championship's the day of the eclipse. And of course, when it comes to eclipses in the modern time, NASA is the go-to. NASA provides all the information for the times of the eclipse, the coordinates, so just something interesting to think about. Okay, if you guys want to join us on the Patreon, we cover all the nitty gritty little details and we take advantage of the rigging day in and day out. Like this eight date numerology served as a beauty this morning and hockey is the Capitals upset. Novechkin number eight had a killer day. But yes, Purdue, they were destined for that 31st win. And notice they win by 39. Final fours in Arizona. Arizona's got that Gematria 39. But yeah, there's something real interesting about Purdue being the astronaut school and them trying to repeat the Virginia path, if you will, where you lose as a 16 seed to a one seed in a scripted match and then come back and do something big the next year. So yeah, I just wanted to share that little gem with you about NASA and Purdue. If you didn't know about their history, take a look at it. Things are getting interesting. Until next time.